Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike, if you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 148 pounds. Big train! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your pants. I had never heard anything like the crowd in the Bell Center before he fought George St. Pierre. These people cheer and they cheer loud for their guy. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice slip and counter there by Lee. Oh man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. And he landed the right hand there.
as he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Lands the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. There he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Able to check the high kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at every you cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Good punch, Lance. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. And both guys really throwing with authority. Seems to have timed that count pretty well. Trying to kick the leg out. Straight punch lands. Seconds now to go in the round. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent something. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Goes back to that left kick once again. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Keep that pressure high now. Oh! Good head movement 
there. Nice slip. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice punch, man, over the top. Blocks the shot. You know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, big shot lands. He engages in a single collar tie here. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big body kick lands. Pretty good right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big kick lands. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice body kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Misses with that punch. Landed a high volume of three. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big punch land. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big he lands to the body. Final seconds here of round two. Misses with the left punch there. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what 
he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. That's Very up. nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the opponent's side, beating his leg up. Ooh, what a punch. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Can't take any of those, you better check. Oh, make the use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Punch over the top. Checks the leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, single collar tie here. the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Effective punch there by Lee. Lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeted. It. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Right there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. and it's blocked. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Beautiful punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big kick land. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising and it's only getting worse. Chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Big kick land. Oh, yeah, right here. He's looking for that left hand, just missed. A real sneaky head kick gets in there. Wow! Oh, big left hook there! So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. What a fight so far! 
All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes, and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Nice punch there. How about that chin? Real quick leg kick. to the left side. Big kick. Found the target with that left hand. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, nice jab by Lee. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, it's something you can't really prepare for. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's doing a good job with his footwork and with his, with his traps and not following, but he's not really letting his hands go. He's trying to counter. You gotta be first when you're the guy that's dictating the center of the octagon. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice leg kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because he's fight the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh! I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice defense there. Huge block. Nice punch lands over the top. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Real sneaky body kick. Big head kick. How about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, he truly makes up the target. Tight to behold. Beautiful strike. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice head kick. Final minute. Nice kick. This is Dash and Chips. Lands an elbow there. Nice job by Lee. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. 
flips the punch. There's no give on that leg kick. What a body kick. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Beautiful head kick. Beautiful spinning attack there. Final seconds here. So there's the horde. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Good combination there by Lee. Oh, man, head to land. Nice counter shot there. Oh, blocks the shot. Big kick lands. Roll the truck. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He was high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, straight right. How good is that right here? Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. And they separate. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Lee. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Dig and kick. Nice right hand. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, my goodness. Lee gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Nice stupid punch. Beautiful body kick. Try to establish that jab. Well, they won't need to go bonus begging after this one. They're getting a bonus tonight. This fight has been all action from the opening hole. I mean, what a phenomenal fight. Both fighters should be very proud of themselves. It's such a fast leg Back kick. and forth we go. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Two minutes now to go in this one. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, a huge block there. Get the turtle in that kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, nice. 
nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. A nice counter jab to snap the head back. One minute to go in the fight. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Slips the left hand. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Blocks the shot. And he lands that side kick. Connects with a right. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48 47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Big Bang. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control 